super hot out here. This keeps going on and on, all of these planes out here, all in a row. So when you go inside for your transfer, you follow the signs to the transfers. If you have a business class, go to premium transfers. <laughs> it's so hot, it hits you like a ton of bricks. We find our departure. So we are headed to C29. It says it's the 10th best airport in the world. Uh, 2016, then 6th, then 5th in 2018. Okay, so C is that direction. I think I'm in an Arabic country. <laughs> It's pretty funny in here. The Chanel little boutique in the middle. And I read about the multi-million dollar teddy bear that they put up here. So I wanted to come and take a look before I go to my plane. People trying to take pictures with him. <laughs> he is a strange looking teddy bear. long day. <laughs> Thanks very much. Oh, that smells great. <laughs> this is quite the airport. A little play area here for the kids. <laughs> We had to wait for the business class shuttle to come. It was the last one to come, not the first one. And it is so hot here, you can't even breathe. It's so hot. Oh my God. Shuttle has the nice seats. And this one is way nicer than what they have in economy, very soft. And then other slippers. And I'm not sure, I think these are earplugs and lots of goodies. I will close the later all to the thirty-eight thousand feet. And with this to be forecasted right in the usual time, but over Turkey we're expecting some light turbulent air. Yeah. It is um, a la carte dining. You just order whenever you're hungry. And also the list of alcohol that's available. There's a wine list. I'll have the um, the garlic. Did you say? I ordered Brulia Bay's and a cheese plate. That looks delicious.
Thank you very much. So that bouillabaisse was delicious. It had shrimp and scallops and fish and a tomato broth. Very good. And I had also asked for a cheese plate, which I don't need anymore, but I'm going to eat anyway. I ordered an old fashioned too. I'm so tired. I was hoping this would put me to sleep. Starting our descent shortly. So local time now is in Budapest 20 minutes past 5 in the morning. We see sunrise. We made it to Budapest. Following the sun's baggage claim. It was a very easy customs and um, I didn't have a transfer waiting. So right outside is a taxi office. You tell them where you're going and they give you a slip. Hold on a second. It shows you your taxi number and you wait for your taxi to come and you can pay by credit card. 1434 in the window. Hi, I'm to the That is our hotel for one night. Two oh eight, big hallways. All right, I've checked into the Intercontinental. It's beautiful. We got a king room. The tub and the closet. Like the safe. They let me check in at 6.30 in the morning, so I'm really happy. It looks like it's a connecting room. And my view is a lovely building. <laughs> So at the lobby of the hotel, you can sign in on any of your cruises. If you're on Viking, there's a Viking one. There's the Avalon desk, which I checked in already. And we are having our first meeting tonight, and then we'll be off. Thank you. So we were told by the concierge that this is good for authentic Hungarian, sorry, food. So I'm excited. So this is a traditional Hungarian the sidewalk cafe. Thank you. That's the name of the restaurant. They have an English tab. <laughs> Fortunately.
There's a lot of food. Traditional Hungarian selection. Did you get to that stage yet? I just did. <laughs> and then there's strudel. But this is breakfast. We don't have breakfast, so. We ordered the traditional Hungarian combination. It's the strudel with, um, with meat, Hungarian style. It's the goulash. Looks delicious. The, all the goodies that they have in the goulash. So this is my cherry strudel. Is mine cherry? That doesn't look cherry to me. I don't know. Mm, the cherry strudel. For the cruise director meeting with Avalon. Thank you. Okay, we have some information here. And then we're having a meeting in that room. My name is Tony. I'll be your cruise director. We wanted to stay an extra night in Budapest. The first reaction that I had is, oh cool, fireworks, because tomorrow is the national holiday. And I, but we're going to the Sophie Hill, which is just right here, <laughs> across the street. It's a beautiful evening in Budapest. We are a little delayed to get onto our ship, so we have one more night here at the Sofitel. And tonight we're gonna go to dinner at a restaurant called Tigris, right near, nearby. We are at Tigris for dinner. Michelin recommended. Hello. That's perfect. Then <laughs> 30 vintage samurai from Topai wine region. We have a brioche. And a uh, white, like a mini bucket. Mm. <laughs> paprika sauce. Thank you. Enjoy it. The foie gras, four different ways. Recommend, it's very good to try from this side first. It's traditional with a chamomile jelly on top and the apricot pearls. Second, with a mongolica ham, Hungarian pork smoked ham on the outside. The yellow, this is paprika jelly and also a little strawberry caviar. Third one, dark chocolate. We have a truffle inside with the foie gras. It's with pistachio and the plum sauce, plum jelly. And the last is the foie gras creme brulee. It's a dessert of the plate. Mm. Bring you the brioche bread, really good together with the ghost liver. Thank you. Enjoy. This is a foie gras sauce. Oh, nice. I've had more foie gras tonight than ever. <laughs> Thank you. So it is a national holiday here. It's like July 4th at home. Tomorrow night is fireworks and a big celebration. It's called St. Stephen's Day. So that's why there's all these concerts and fun stuff happening tonight. This is breakfast at um, the Intercontinental. It's a buffet, very nice. We only have about 20 minutes before our tour leaves. <laughs> thank you. Oh, how do you say thank you? Gasanam. Gasanam. But here, there's all the cheeses. of the new bread you know it's uh, the end of the summer then um, uh, all the farmers go to the uh, go to the uh, place to have a uh, flour to make a new bread and uh, we always have a very big uh, bread for the country that means uh, for the next year we will have uh, uh, more and more uh, food and uh, we will grow and be rich so uh, we also put the flag 
uh, on the bread on the bread and uh, we also taste the local wines that also come from the harvest and this is how we celebrate also for the firework at nine o'clock. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Meeting our Avalon City tour and you look for the ladies with the little A flags on their side. So for our tour, they gave us this little listening device. So you wear it on a lanyard around your neck and then it gives you, whoops, it gives you this earpiece. Alexander will be the driver in Hungarian version is Sandor. So Sandor is Alexander in English, then he's the driver. And then my name is Victoria, English version is the same Victoria. So then we will start the city tour. Today is the day, the celebration of the country foundation. So then also his coronation ceremony as well. So for example, if you wanted to join to the service at the St. Stephen's Cathedral at the afternoon and to go around of the church with St. Stephen's right mummified hand and to touch the hand, then you should go to the St. Stephen's Basilica direction. If you wanted to have a look for the whole day festival, you just need to walk here down to the riverside because all the day we have programs. First of all, soon it's starting the flight show up on the river Danube, all of our flight vehicles, airplanes, helicopters and whatever it's exists in the in the flying world you will see half of us and then afterwards folklore shows folklore programs on the street and at the evening the fireworks so then it, this day it's very busy today this is the dracula castle this will be a five-star hotel do you know that which movie was shooting up on this balcony where is a lady and she is singing so the life of Evita was shooting here and then Madonna was singing up on this balcony don't cry for me Argentina <laughs> so just to see how is the life she's an Italian woman and she was singing the national lead of Argentina up in the Budapest <laughs> okay so then so this is where Madonna sang um, her Evita song don't cry for me, Argentina. Grazie a tutti. 
Yedlik Ainoş, who was also a Hungarian Jewish person, he was the inventor for the bubble water, for the soda water, which is still today the basic drink for all the spritzers and for all the refreshments. So then this is the area where we are at the moment. And soon on the corner, soon on the corner you will see the prayer house of the Jewish community, which is the biggest prayer house now at the moment in Europe. Um, that is the Dohain Street Synagogue and then in the forward that is the second largest prayer house so then the building will have two onion cap you will find it on the left hand side it's a corner building oh, so just take a look on the left hand side this is the Grand Synagogue the Dohain Street Synagogue which holds inside 3000 seats so then also here in the complex you can find uh, the Holocaust Mass Grave Garden, which is belonging to this 1944 and 45, where the people unfortunately lost their life during in the Holocaust period here in Budapest. And then also inside you can find the home of Theodor Herzl. He was also a Hungarian Jewish person. If you ever heard about him, then Theodor Herzl was um, the founder of the political movement, which it's called Zionism. And then also he wrote a book. The book name was Judenstadt, the State of the Jews. And then Theodor Herzl wrote about his dream into the book. So again, the synagogue, it's on the left corner, just on the left corner. So then in that book, he was just uh, written about his dream that he hoped that the new state Israel can be born one day where the Jewish people can live free and peacefully but he knows that at the moment this is just a dream. So Theodor Herzl just lived at the end of the 19th century and then just died in 1904. And he just died with this thought that it will never happen. But as you know, in 1947-48 was born the new state Israel. So that's why his book is the basic book of the new state Israel. And then afterwards, of course, we had a lot of famous Hungarian actors, singers from this area who became world famous just because um, they were very good talent. And then I should mention you some name. There is, for example, Tony Curtis, who was the famous actor. And then he was played often with Marilyn Monroe and with Jack Lemmon. There is Goldie Hawn, who is a Hungarian Jewish person. Uh, Joe Barrymore, Ben Stiller, then Rachel Weisz, they are all Hungarians. And then we had the model lady as well, who was a Hungarian Jewish lady. And uh, this lady was married first time with uh, Mr. Hilton. And then like this, it was built up in the Castle District, the first hotel, uh, Hilton. And then afterwards, the lady just divorced from Mr. Hilton and she had another eight husband. <laughs> so then all together with Mr. Hilton, nine. Do you know who is this lady? Zsa Yes, yeah, she is Zsa Gabor. So then also she was a Hungarian Jewish person and then uh, she was also belonging to this area. So these are two from the 11 bridges. On the right hand side there is the chain bridge so then there it's located your hotel. The fireworks will exploding from here as you see on the right hand side that's why are the preparation. So then from here it will be of course more of these but this area will be closed soon. And there are some things. So even we have to see that we also have the one around the here. John? This is the Hilton Hotel Budapest, which is on Castle Hill. It is in a fantastic location if you want to be up here in the old district. We just already arrived on the Buddha side. Buddha is the hilly side. Buddha is full of with the water. So especially all the thermal bathhouse, you can find it here up on the Buddha side. And then also Buddha, like the name is coming from the Slavic expression which is very similar like Voda and then that means water so this area which is rich in water
So we're going towards Buda Castle. There's two cities, Buda and Pest. So Buda is the one in the hills with the old um, history and Pest is the flat area uh, that's newer where our hotel is. When you're in a country like this, if you want the local currency, just go to the ATM. Uh, this is a um, taste of Hungary market. So from the countryside, the farmers, the countryside, their uh, productors, they are coming here to sell their own products and uh, to give a taste from it because today is the national holiday. So then if you just want, you can just cross the chain bridge from your hotel and you just arrive here and you can have a look for our tasties as well. Especially in the 20th of August is showing up every year the new cake of our country. Every year there is a new cake for the country. And this year there is a kind of uh, plum and chestnut mix tart. So then it's a cake. Usually we, it should be based up on our fruit and our vegetables and our products. So then nothing can be inside which is uh, which is coming from a foreign country. So then this year there is the plum and chestnut cake. So I would recommend you to taste it. We're going to try a drink. They have an orange grapefruit beer. This is delicious. It was uh, 1000 Thank you. How do you say, it's H-U-F. How, how do you say your currency? Forty. You have to be very skilled. <laughs> oh my goodness. What kind of fish is that? What what fish? Trout. Trout. Delicious. This one is beef stew with red wine and the mushroom. Mm. <laughs> So we got the chicken paprikash uh, with potatoes and also with the coleslaw and pickles. It's very popular. <laughs> so we're fascinated with this, so we're going to try it. It's sweet cake. You can get it with vanilla, sugar, walnut, cinnamon, coconuts, or cocoa. And you can see it comes out hollow. And you get it. I wonder if you put something in the middle. Okay. It's very hot over here and ashes everywhere. It's fascinating though. So Todd ordered cinnamon, so he put it aside. Or no, he's putting the cinnamon on now. Ooh, nice. From all over the world come here just for this festival and the national holiday today. The fireworks are supposed to be spectacular. So we really lucked out being here today with Avalon Waterways. Very excited. Here is the Intercontinental and the Sofitel, both the hotels that we're staying at, pre-cruise.
check into our new hotel, the Sofa Hotel. We're here. Pictures with the Ferrari. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's a cool Ferrari. Buying a refreshing drink before we go on with our day. Okay, this is our room at the Sofa Hotel. Looks very similar to our last room. So we are in the Sofitel Hotel, which is right next to the Intercontinental Budapest. And uh, we're on the fourth floor. It's got an open courtyard in the middle, which is very pretty. It's the spa. Hello. This is the Ritz Carlton. So that's like the thing that you had. Uh, they do put stuff inside them. I have my glasses that I inherited from my grandma. Um, closing the roads. We're home, sweet home. So we're having dinner in the buffet at the restaurant at the Sofa Hotel. Mm, dessert. I might just eat that. My favorite part of going to Europe are the cheeses. Delicious. Leek potato soup. Mm. I have this other area also with more, I did just a few other things here. Better. This is uncovered now. So this is the beef tenderloin with rosemary potatoes. Uh, honey, Roman, cumin, carrot, and chicken breast with cheese sauce, and an oven baked sea bass with anise green cabbage. Thank you. Hey, the party is starting out here. We just finished dinner and uh, we're coming out to try to see the fireworks. All of Budapest is here.
what they're like transmitting. But it's an easy walk back to our house uh, tonight. It's right at the Sofitel. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That's a Hungarian ratatouille with egg. I think I'll try that. There's our beautiful home for the next week. The luggage check was behind us. And they're getting all our luggage and taking it into our rooms for us. Oh, there's some canoers. I really wanted to do the canoe excursion, but uh, Todd didn't want to do it. But that's some of our canoers. <laughs> So these are the stairs we take up and we're going over to that castle. <laughs> so you can take 186 steps up to the very top to see the view. And I chose not to <laughs> to see this view. Nagyon sok szeretettel köszöntjük Önöket a Visegádi Szent György Lovagrend nevében. It's a great pleasure for us to have a chance to greet you on behalf of Szent George Order of Visegrád. Okay, but you're going to be married now for half an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present you the king and the queen of Visegrád! You may just say, who would you like to punish from the audience? Uh, Miss Kristen Steele. Oh. This is beautiful feeling. I saw uh, it. Uh, Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> and now uh, we need to find someone with good sense of humor. Uh oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the royal court is ready, and the queen will now officially open the tournament. Let's open the tournament. <laughs> Thank you.
So when you get on board, these gentlemen check you in. Just give them your passports. <laughs> Thank you. Right here. <laughs> Hi. How fun was that? Would you like a refreshing towel? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. We are in cabin 330. You record? <laughs> I am recording, yes. <laughs> Your room is uh, very close to the lounge. The, the favorite bed Oh, yes. good. They knew where to put me. Yes. <laughs> Here is your room. You just place your card. We beep the green line, and within a few seconds, you open the door. Oh, thank you. Oops. And then he got a king. Have you been with that one? So you can uh, also put the Wi Fi password. Okay. So this is the bathroom. It's very large for a ship. There we go. You have a complimentary walk mineral water on the table. In the mini bar here, everything is available. Okay. 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 Here is the emergency only. Thank you. So because this okay. is lighting in uh, the evening. If by mistake too, so, yes. For okay. <laughs> the captain. And there's this mini bar in the room, but this is not included. So if you drink from the mini bar, that does cost you money. The special requirement reception and yeah, we'll see you later. Okay, okay. thank you. So they had given us these beautiful fresh flowers for the room, which I love fresh flowers in a cabin. Reception is manned 24 hours a day. This is my French balcony. And then basically the balcony is in your room. You're right outside. They have coffee and donuts back here and kind of a relaxation area. Okay, this is the lunch um, area, restaurant. Start by looking at the desserts. And pasta to order. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, it's called magpies, it says. So we've started to move to beautiful. This is the little fitness room, some weights. Panorama lounge, it's at the front of the ship. You can sit on couches, listen to the piano. So you can go outside right here at the panorama lounge, right in the front of the ship. We are moving uh, on the Danube and it is not blue, so don't listen to the songs that say it's the blue Danube, it is the green Danube. <laughs> it's beautiful here though. Some beautiful houses on this side. It's there. So we are on the top deck. bikes that you can just take um, on, off the ship or you can go for alfresco dining. We do have this little hot tub open. Maybe we'll come back. It actually looks down into the reception area. This is where all the dream vacations people hang out. <laughs> of course, get their sun. Donuts and 
cookies and coffees and sit out here and look at the after view. Exactly where you are and some games and books. Number 330. Looks like they have some chuhili. About 18 to 19 hours to get from Visegrad to Vienna. It's a three hour drive, but we're not driving. We're taking a boat, we're taking a ship. Welcome on board of Avalon Impression. My name is Rowling. I'm a captain of Avalon Impression already from the very first beginning, 2014, when we launched this ship. <laughs> They're giving us lots of goodies. Yay, yummy, yummy for the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, have a great time on board of the ship. Have a good cruise. Cheers, all of you. We are sailing along the Danube and it's just about sunset. It's time for dinner. It's just so pleasant and beautiful, really nice light breeze. And it's very, very calm. It's not like with an ocean cruise where you're wavy. Um, it's very pleasant. It is dinner time. Thank you. Thank you. Get the salad. Oh, and I had the ticket. No, no, this is we're sharing. This. We're, we're sharing that. Oh, this. Amazing. Here we go. Oh, Hello, this is my brother. You look like I'm also from Bali. So that's the um, what do you call it? Because it seems like at least I'm. Can you say your name? Good day. <laughs> Good day, man. <laughs> What is that one? What did you this get? Is, a sponge cake. Oh, it's cool. And I got like a cherry ragu with ice cream. What is that beer? So we are in our first lot. <laughs> in Vienna and the way that river uh, cruises dock is they double up or triple up so we have ships right next to us and then you have to walk through the lobbies of the other ships to be able to get to the sidewalk. This is a little better view from above. You can see the ships right next to us. Some yoga. It's the Ama Viola. And then let's see if I can tell what the other ships are. That one is a scenic. Got two Viking ships right in front of us. And the scenic jade here next to us. Through from their ship. And they go through our ship to get to the dock. You can get your schedule and you do a guest check-in and check-out. So you have to check in and check out every time you get on and off the boat. Making omelets today. <laughs> Sorry, hi. Honeycomb, interesting. Starting my day. <laughs> this is how we leave through the other ship. We are walking through the scenic. <laughs> this is the scenic ship. Then all our tour buses are here waiting for us. Our driver's name is Vesna. And my name is Cornelia. We are having a special tour because there is some driving, which includes the uh, a, a lot of the main sites of Vienna, but then there is also 
a museum visit to the Museum Belvedere. A, a local musician lived for a while, Johann Strauss. The bridge is actually bridging a branch of the Danube, locally called Danube Channel. It is aside a swimming pool Can boat. You see the lipis and horses in the garden. Yes. And then it's the part which has more trees. And finally, you see the long stretch building with the orange. This is the lower big Roll. Get back from your tour, they have a little welcome for you. It's lunch, it's fried chicken, and they have some goulash, and some pasta with mushrooms. I really like the um, salads, actually, the salads are delicious. The dressing on the salad was yummy, and I always love my honey. These desserts, of course, with chocolate eclairs and apricot mousse. Delicious. Soup. This one is a cold coconut, um, chilled coconut cream soup. And then this one is a green bean soup. Everybody says it's delicious. I didn't eat this one. We walked out of our lobby and through the scenic again, and now a taxi is going to come down here and pick up. And then we're going to go to Judenplatz, which is the Jewish area of uh, central Vienna. We're in Judenplatz Alan. now. I believe this is the Holocaust Memorial.
keeps going. My goodness. This is the Jewish Museum. They call it the Museum Judenplatz. This was the model of the city in 1420. This is the Jewish Quarter in 1421 in its liquidation. Are the remains of the medieval synagogue here that was from 1420 with the destruction in 1421. This is the Bima. This is the woman's shoe. Weddings, parades, and funeral processions, court cases, and proclamations, everyday Jewish life in general took place in public. The roughly common areas of the Jewish district were occupied by Jewish and Christian merchants and clients, women and children, performers and parents. We are in a second location history from Middle late until today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chanel, gorgeous, next to Prada and Louis Vuitton. Gorgeous. Costume food looks delicious. So, So I guess they were watching us in the other museum. <laughs> We took a taxi back from uh, the city center and it looks like we have uh, repositioned a little bit so now we're on the inside. This is the Avalon. We're having a little party thanks to Kristen. <laughs> How did she lure everyone here? <laughs> 
She knows her travel agents. <laughs> I said, always know you're proud. Your <laughs> Some aft lounge, which has these little goodies too. And a beautiful view. I'm not sure who's out here today. If I'm going to be on board with you guys for the week, I want to make sure I know who I'm sailing with. <laughs> right? You can't run, you can't hide. And I've been on ship with a lot of you. Did you? So um, this was fun. But um, cheers. And I yeah. thought what we would do is we're going to have a nice week. It's a little bit delayed um, with the Budapest fireworks for St. Stephen's Festival. Any complaints on that? No. no. All right. So cheers. 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 <laughs> this is the entry cabin. It is 172 square feet. Yes. There is only a little window. Okay, so you can see the difference in the cabin that we have versus this entry level cabin. Here's our window, nearly 11 feet wide, floor to ceiling, wall to wall. And when it opens, it really opens, wide enough to let the outside in, because the opening is a full seven feet. What if we angled the wall and turned the bed? That little change gives you the perfect perspective of the amazing views out your window. Reclaim that space, push the window out, add a spacious dining and seating area for up to six adults, combine it with the largest sliding glass door in the business, and voila, you have an open air balcony, the only one of its kind in river cruising. By angling the wall, we opened up more space in the bathroom. Then we took our newfound space and we made it luxurious. We have a large tile shower with glass doors, marble countertops, premium fixtures, L'Occitane bath amenities, and shelves to store all your necessities. There's no comparison. Happy hour time. <laughs> Austrian wine. Yes. Thank you. This is our appetizer, uh, ham. This is the potato soup. So I got the wiener schnitzel tonight, and we're splitting the potato pancake. And I'm not, oh, this is the big tenderloin. Oh, this? Walnut. 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 Ice cream. Pancakes. Food. And cheese, my favorite. And then strawberry.
I ordered my egg this morning. <laughs> You'll make an omelet or your eggs, however you would like them, of course. It's a buffet, you should always check the menu because there are things that you can ask the waiter for. Today, it's sweet polenta with apples and cinnamon sugar, Belgian waffles, poached egg Florentine or eggs Benedict. So this is the Eggs Benedict, and this is the Belgian waffle. We have uh, the tour of the Museum of Fine Arts. And this was uh, built for the uh, 50 years uh, anywhere. They needed the steel and everything. They, don't, they didn't even have uh, the tool. So in front, the Prata, which is all to the left, it's not only an amusement park. The fer Ferris wheel ma marks the entrance. In German means Wien. And it's like called in English the Vienna River, the Wien Fluss, and it gives the city its name. It originates about 35 kilometers outside to the west, although hardly anyone ever in the water is so cold. <laughs> Served for them, he was a military commander, and the New Year's concert, the last piece, is always dedicated to Radetzky, it's this famous Radetzky march. Between the trees, you will see in the far distance the golden statue of Johann Strauss' son with the violin in hand, Imperial, and the hotel. So, if we have state guests, they're always accommodated there, like Trafalgar. Hey, sound of music. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sound of Music. A Viking tour. <laughs> Lots of tours here. So the streets are very busy. There's all sorts of public transportation. Have a VIP entrance before hours for the museum. So that is an example of how this works. It's like uh, entertainment that you put on the table in front of you.
Imagine what happened with this piece, and we see still some marks of that. We call it the thousand day nightmare of the Salier. So this was decorated by Klimt. This is the Greek and Roman antiquities area.
put these bikes out for you so you can just take a bike ride anytime you want to off of the ship. And I put in a bowl all of the ingredients that I want. And they cook them up. This looks beautiful today too. <laughs> Dumplings are really yummy and the potatoes are really good. And then there's also ice cream here, raspberry and coffee. Hello. <laughs> and you can put your toppings on. And more salads. Oh, I can see the sandwiches in there. And then they have the desserts and the cheeses. And these cherry uh, mousse was really good too. I made a soup today too. I didn't see that either. This is where we are. Okay. We're gonna take this to the green line here. And then we're gonna take this over to the palace there. So that's how we get <laughs> to Shunbrun. <laughs> signs are the underground. You actually have to go on the side of the street that gets you the direction that you're trying to go. Ticket machines are right here. We can choose English, and we are gonna get a day pass. We're getting two tickets for 24 hour Vienna full fare. Okay. Uh huh. So it's 16 euros, eight euros a year. Oops. The validation here. And that. Okay, so we just hop on. So now we have to try to find the green line. Okay, following the signs, D4. Close, the train is broken, so we're gonna go up and around. The partial shut down. There we are, but this is really pretty. Schoenbrunn Palace. We ended up having to take an Uber because the subway uh, green line closed and it was very difficult, <laughs> it turned out. So, but we found a way in finally. Now we have to make sure our ticket will work. didn't allow videos or photos inside the palace but this is the gift shop selling bretzels here that look delicious we ran through Schaumbrunn Palace in 44 rooms in a half hour so now we're hungry and thirsty there is a cafe with some delicious looking things here and then there's also a restaurant it's tea time here on the high seas except it's a river and it's the end of tea time, so usually this is full of delicious foods and, of course, tea and coffee probably also. That is an old monastery that goes back, as we see it now, it's a Baroque construction that we still have, that because according to Franz Josef, his second last emperor, Francis Joseph, the husband of Sisi, he already wanted to cut down everything here. It would have been a shame, to be honest. We are at a lookout over Vienna in the Austrian woods. I have dinner and overlook the city. This is a great spot. You can sit out on the balcony. And there's a gelato place right up here too. They tried to maintain this all the way up the road, which was very bumpy. So this is the wine tavern we're going to, this cute little town. Burger Furger. The owner's Harley. <laughs> wine, it looks like a white wine. Austin. Yeah, pretty much traditional Austrian dip. I wouldn't call it a dip. You use it with um, 
<laughs> Either with bread or you can use it with, um, what are they called? Soletis. Do you know them? No. Okay, it's like, it's like chips. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> so now you're having gemischter okay. Satz. That's a very famous uh, Austrian white wine where they put together different sorts of wine. Harvest, uh, grow it together, harvest it together, but it's not a cuvee. We export that even. That has a kind of a renaissance now. It's very in, very fashionable. So enjoy the wine. Thank you. Thank you. It's the new wine that we're trying. She didn't say what the old, the old one, one was. She did. So traditional Austrian Heiligen dishes. Yeah. In the middle, the bread dumplings, yes. sausages, yes. sauerkraut, yeah. uh, roast pork, pork, and then it's kind of smoked ham. Warm. Okay. Oh, I see. So traditional okay. and choy. Okay. Thank you. Everyone, and what is that? Warm. Oh, sausage. Yeah. And what's yeah. underneath? Oh, sauerkraut. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're returning and we are third in the line behind Tauk and I'm not sure what the other one is. Tauk is not letting us inside the ship. This is what they look like. And they're making these poor people who can't walk go up the stairs. So now we're on top of their ship. So now we're gonna go over this little gangway to go to the next ship. This is the Riviera Charles Dickens that we're now walking over. Okay. <laughs> this is the Riviera. And then we're home. Oh. Finally back. Go! 
against the wall. Just turn around and you, you will see. up to this beautiful view this morning. I'm going on a canoe ride today and Todd is taking a bike ride and it looks like a gorgeous day. Crumbs. Boy, it's so beautiful here. Very peaceful. We are dividing up. Oh, there's a Viking lure is here. So the bikers are up there and we're the canoers down here. Just getting ready for their big trip. <laughs> They're gonna meet us down in Spitz. So we are going six in a raft, basically, two in each canoe to row, and then however many we need in the middle. So this is our raft. <laughs> All right, we are set in our, our canoe. Oops. Turn. Right turn. <laughs> We're not paying attention in this book. Christoph, who's pushing us, is the yoga instructor on board Avalon, <laughs> and the fitness instructor, and the bike uh, tour guide. <sighs> they wish they were down here with us. 
You can see the ruins in the background and silhouette. Okay. a little bit of wave for us, make it a little hard to uh, go straight. <laughs> a little wavy, thanks to the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. All right, if I bounce know. off, just, <laughs> just come back and get me. <laughs> castle in the left hand side that's where King Lionheart uh, was held prisoner and the little blue chapel we passed earlier so you can see the Avalon impression coming to get us Pit stop here on this beach. Wow, people are actually in the water. That's crazy. <laughs> They're waving at us. That's our ship. Very cold water. Don't let these guys fool you. <laughs> you changed positions. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, girl. <laughs> 
This is the end of the, the road. <laughs> We're not last. <laughs> the canoe trip ended up. We take this little van back to the ship. We just took a little pit stop here because we have to meet up with our ship in um, Spitz and we're a little early. You can see the island on top of the tower. Are you having fun? <laughs> hey, hey! It's Avalon! <laughs> I didn't know I'd see you guys here. <laughs> hey. Wow, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Be careful, don't crash. <laughs> See you on the ship. About 19 of us on the canoe trip, and so we got dropped off here in our little van. We just have a little short walk oh, to the ship. So today they're doing a grill on the top deck for uh, lunch as well as the buffet. Curious about what's gonna be up there. is the grill up on the top deck today. <laughs> today there is Wiener Shiny. <laughs> hmm. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> At the first one, open this stuff already. Cucumber soup. It's so big, just for a burger. <laughs> We are finally cruising on the river during the day so we can actually see the river. It's beautiful. We are sailing to grind tonight. today. We'll see how that is. <laughs> so this is yeah. our Oaxaca. Very yes. Oh, it's hot? hot uh -oh. Early dinner right. tonight so we can go see a count tonight. We've got Caesar and Shukantan. He was encouraging that conversation even more. So this is a mustard like soup with sausage. That he made the other night. A little salmon and a little sirloin, and I think that's potato in the middle. Cottage cheese stuffed onion. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. We're gonna go up to a count's castle tonight. See the count and the family. 
know i mean it, it's nice to visit there or think about it. these folks actually live there they live partially in vienna as well because the kids go to school in vienna there's not too much schooling here as you can imagine but uh, they commute up and down it's, it's quite nice to come down here for the weekends huge estate just, just looking at that sunset, the days are shortening fast now, right? This is the castle, as we're seeing. This is cool. It's like a little medieval festival down here. This is the Count and his daughter, the Countess. And this is their beautiful castle. <laughs> Well, I mean, countess. the whole the whole thing, like, do you, are you Countess of something? No, Countess. countess. Oh, well, that's beautiful. Oh beautiful. Oh <laughs> we are under besiege. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had some uh, heavy fighting today, <laughs> but my, the Knights of the Castle won. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a day. <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, welcome to Klam Castle. Uh, my name is Karl Philipp Klam. Uh, I live here uh, all year uh, on the on the fortress inside the fortress. So that's the special thing around here that uh, um, the family still still lives here. So it's a full size medieval fortress, um, but still uh, traditionally uh, uh, run by the family. Um, so we are actually the only the only fortress where, you, where we still we still live, yeah. Um, and uh, that's simply because we kept on staying here since the Middle Ages, yeah. So it was my uh, 17th great grandfather who arrived here uh, in the Middle Ages, and um, he was successful defied, defending the castle. And there were many attacks, many besieges. Um, I said a little bit joking that we have uh, besieged today. Yeah? <laughs> we had this uh, medieval uh, festival here, so there was some heavy fighting, but uh, uh, my knights uh, won. <laughs> <laughs> today my knights asked, when they saw you coming, they asked, are you coming in peaceful intention? <laughs> so the f first guests who arrived said, yes, yes, peaceful, peaceful. <laughs> Just like all the other rooms, we also use the chapel, we still use the chapel. We have the, the Holy Sacrament of Christ here. Um, there's uh, actually, for, to, to have a Mass in your private home, you need a special allowance of the Pope. And this, for Clam Castle, this was written in the year 1360. So all these years uh, when we had uh, uh, the Holy Sacrament of Christ here in, in Klam Castle, so that's something, something special that we... Christoph, he had a, a horse that he loved a lot and he used it with uh, his battles and once he was riding all the way to Poland with his horse and he was uh, so sad when the horse died one day and he wanted, uh, uh, in, in memory of the horse, he constructed his chair uh, so he, he took the, the skin of the horse and made leather from it and he took the hair of the horse uh, so he could still sit on his loved uh, horse. Oh my God. Skeleton. <laughs> it's in this closet. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's again the coat of arms here. Uh, the red one on the right side. This is the Bohemian uh, branch. 
-hmm. And the left one is the historical old part of Austrian. Mm -hmm. Well then, um, this is the, the bigger ones. Yeah? <laughs> Some more uh, fine uh, antiques here to see. This is, uh, for example, this is a sedan chair of my uh, Hmm. An ancestor of mine who uh, lived in Naples, he was uh, vice king of Naples. Um, Naples and Sicily belonged to Austria uh, once, and um, so he was he was there responsible for the province of Naples. Yeah. What type of chair is that? This, this is the biggest room we heat in winter. Uh, so that's why, uh, yeah, why we use it, for example, for Christmas. For, for, uh, we, I have my, my my childhood memories, we have we celebrate uh, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve in here. Porcelain is, is the um, oldest Austrian porcelain uh, from the uh, Imperial uh, Porcelain Manufacture in Vienna. Um, it would be around 1750 maybe, uh, the finest, finest Austrian porcelain. And the glasses are from Bohemian lead crystal, so also this is... Yeah, the finest of the monarchy. Yeah, finest but the bus is already for boarding. Good morning from Grind this morning. It's a very pleasant, peaceful morning. What's nice about having these little French balconies is it gives you extra room in your cabin and you really don't have any time to be sitting out on a balcony um, on a river cruise because you're always somewhere where you want to be walking around or um, sleeping. And when you're in ports that are busy, they stack the river ship so you can't even open your windows because you've got somebody right next door to you a lot of the times. But this is beautiful today. This is what is perfect about river cruising. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Making some omelets here for everybody. And today's salmon. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is. Oh, banana. Okay, thank you. Salmon, uh, hash brown, I guess, with poached egg. doing a walking tour this morning but instead of that Todd and I are just gonna be walking around it's a very small town in Grein so we basically one street they have great gelato so you should come and have their gelato So this is where you come for gelato. Bubbler or drinking fountain. Oops. This little cafe is right outside the boat. And home sweet home. So I decided to relax on the front of the ship to get out of the sun. The back of the ship smelled a little of fumes, so this is much more pleasant up here. Nice area to sit and have a coffee. So we're sailing away from Grein. It is so smooth sailing on a river ship. I didn't even know uh, that we were moving. And this is the way it is when there are waves, you just feel nothing. It's very smooth, beautiful. 
if you get seasick um, and you don't like to use the patches for ocean cruising, this is really a great um, option. You, you don't feel the motion at all. It's lunchtime and they're serving a grill up on top again, so I'm gonna go over there. We're on the way to Mauthausen to the concentration camp, so it's gonna be a heavy afternoon. The grill days, it gets a little crowded up here. You wait in line to get your food. A bit under this bridge, so let's see if we make it. <laughs> Hoping. <laughs> We're passing a cute little city. I don't know if this is Mauthausen. <laughs> So I got a burger, I'm gonna get some cheese and there's sausage. And they're also making some fish and veggie burger. Mauthausen. Still serving the buffet again as they did yesterday. It's turkey. <laughs> And banana ice cream. <laughs> the cheese and fruit and different dessert raspberry coconut cake and citrus mousse. So when you visit Mauthausen, you think about it as you're visiting a cemetery. So you show respect in your behavior. They don't like talking in the areas where there should be contemplation. This is a place of suffering. You know, sometimes you had to walk through a town because in order to find somewhere to put us up, so the towns had, either they had the churches or they had other things. You know, but you could, you could stores, you know, from, for the cows. She took the cows out and she put us in there for the night. You know, things like this. And at any point, did they tell you where you were marching to? No. So eventually, you arrived in Mauthausen? Or? Eventually, we arrived in Mauthausen, but Mauthausen was so full that they didn't have empty space for us. We had to put, it, put us. So they built... Um, You know, for the outside, those, those, those they build now, you know, when, in, uh, uh, barracks? tents, 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 you know, they built, for, they built tents, I mean, they built not small tents, they built tents that could take in a thousand people. And tell me what your reaction was when you saw Mauthausen for the first time. You've been marching for a month and then you get to this place. Uh, what was the first thing that crossed scary, your mind? Scary, very scary. You don't know what's ha going to happen. You did not know nothing. The only thing you heard, a lot of bombing at night because I think the Americans already bombed these places. Because they bombed Budapest and the Americans while we were still there. And they bombed, you know, so that, that's the only thing we could hear. And did you get to talk to any of the prisoners who had been there before? No. So you had no idea what it was? Or? No, because there was Jews and non-Jews prisoners, and, and a lot of Russian prisoners in there. Also on, on those, in the regular barracks, you know, and it was very, very big. And did you have any uh, work assignments once you got there, or you just... Most of the time, no. Because, you know, every, every barrack had, had a, a couple. A leader, a Jewish leader. That's it. The Germans said, "You're going to be the couple. You're going to be responsible for those thousand people." 
they cannot go out unless you take them out. We tell you to take me, take out 10 or 20 or 30 and go there and there. What was your impression of the couple? I really don't know because maybe maybe when you're younger than there were older people there also with us. They probably would have known certain things so they would have, you know. But my, uh, my impression was not just keep quiet and don't mix in and don't do just you are t what you are told. That was my impression. And that's what I did. And so one day was pretty much the same as the other for your last right. time? Right, the same. You see, as, as, as they came closer, the Germans, I mean the Americans, you know, occupy this part of Austria and this part of the kingdom. speak English, do you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So some local bakers brought us some sweets today that look delicious for us to enjoy with the piano. <laughs> Trying the soccer court and the apple brandy. So it looks like we're in Linz tonight for a pub crawl. There's a couple on ships, artistry and visionary. It's a big city compared to where we've been. We are um, gonna be up against these two other Avalon ships. This is such a big city here. We're third in line. <laughs> it looks pretty much the same as ours. There's the scenic and the Modigliani. 
<laughs> it's the visionary. Today I got a rum punch. <laughs> and Todd like his usual that he likes this dark beer. <laughs> it's happy hour. I'm mean, use bush, which I think is cucumber. This is the dream goddess salad. Lobster bisque. I'm gonna show you. It's actually crayfish. Oh, there's no, there's no actual lobster in it. <laughs> so I've got a Riesling and a Shiraz tonight. I really like the Riesling. The Shiraz, I'm not so sure about. The mushroom. Thank you. Sure. The and this is the what is it? Halibut. Halibut. Hey, thank you. <laughs> and you choose Avalon Waterways, especially Avalon Impression for your holiday. We will hope that you enjoyed and you collect some beautiful memories here with us on board. Unfortunately, slowly but surely, our trip is coming to the end. Aww. But still, tomorrow, another beautiful day in Engelhardsel and in Austria. Now I have a pleasant task. I'm going to introduce the entire impression crew. How about that? Aww. Upside down, but now it is perfect. Nighttime in Linz, and we are gonna go on a pub crawl. <laughs> um, Hitler gave his first speech here. Sausage stands are really good here, they say, to come to that stand. Interesting lingerie. <laughs> We're going to the beer garden. It's a lovely night out. This is the Stiegel. Stiegel? Stiegel. Stiegel. Tannins out. Take my tannins out. It is a special wine. Oh, no, no, I don't do no, that. Yeah, I'm a, I just... hmm. <laughs> do you want to try the hugu? Yeah. <laughs> These houses are three windows high and three windows wide. We're in Das Bruckner Coffee House now, which is in the main square. So I got a Hugo, I think. This is a Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to our third stop. <laughs> this pub crawl is straight uphill. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was a long walk up. We're almost there, right? <laughs> a lot for one beer. Schloss Cafe. I'm not sure what that is. This is a Hugo. Uh, Hugo, what? Yeah, in our last port before we go home to Linz, this is where the um, where the Danube Horseshoe is, or we're gonna be sailing through that later. So we're in Engelhardsel. So this basically tells us where we are. Not much to the city. Not a whole lot here, but um, we are near Bavaria, so we're gonna have a special Bavarian lunch on board today. Hot 
such knobs to greet us today. <laughs> Beautiful. So the A from Uniworld is, is right behind us. I didn't see them before. They have all their bikers coming off. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they always do kind of a mini, um, a mini lunch upstairs. This is creamy and Bavarian, creamy Bavarian cheese soup with pretzel croutons. Yummy. Potatoes and other Bavarian specialties. Ooh, some deviled eggs. German potato noodles, yummy. And then the cake is this caramel layer cake, fruit, oops, sorry, salad. Do some readers if you forgot them. Stay on board and we have Bavarian <laughs> servers today. These <laughs> pretzels. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Mm. Usual over here. Over here. What are you making? That's all. Yummy. Okay. See these sausages. Soup today. Yes. <laughs> and there's some pretzel croutons. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Enjoying an afternoon nap. Looking at the beautiful Danube go by. A nice thing about having um, the bed facing the window on Avalon. Last happy hour, I'm doing a Brandy Alexander. Life on the river. It's a farewell champagne. Woo! <laughs> what do you got? What do you need to be a captain on a river cruise ship? This is what I wrote. <laughs> I want to be a captain when I grow up because it's a funny job and it's easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> Captains don't need good school education. They, have, they, they maybe have to learn the numbers so they can read instruments. I guess they should be able to read maps as well so they won't get lost. Captains should be brave so they won't be scared if it's foggy and they cannot see. Or if a propeller falls off, they should stay calm so they will know what to do. Captain always get the best food, even better than the guest, so <laughs> they are not allowed to tell them this. The salary that Captain make is another thing I like. They make more money than they can spend. <laughs> this, this is because most people think that captaining a ship is dangerous. Except captains, because they know how easy it is. <laughs> there isn't much that I don't like, except girls like captains, and all the girls want to marry the captain, <laughs> so we have to chase them away so they will not bother him. <laughs> I hope that they don't get seasick, because I get car sick. <laughs> and if I get seasick, I could not be a captain, and then I would have to go to work. <laughs> Keep on cruising. Someday, somehow, somewhere, we might see each other again. Till then, in the Dutch language, we say tot ziens. In the German, we say auf Wiedersehen. It means till we meet again. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Cheers. 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 Cheers.
this. In world A is right next door. Inside the A's lobby, and then um, it's it's kind of a modern, more trendy looking ship. Cool areas. Four a.m. tomorrow. This is my tuna niswa salad. Mushroom consommé. This is my fettuccine. Can I can I take a video? This oh, yeah, is, I'm ahead. not sure what that is. The John Dory. It's chicken. Right? Oh, that's chicken. I'm sorry. And that's the filet. So this is the dessert, so a cheese plate and maple ice cream, and there's a panna cotta, and the berry something. America. So we're at the Linz airport, it's time uh, to depart, it took uh, about 35 euros from the port, about 15 minutes to get here. The airport doesn't open till 5 a.m., so we have to wait for the check-in to open. It's about 4.30 right now. The gate area is very small at the Linz Airport. We just wait here for our flight. So we load up. Back in Frankfurt. We take the shuttle back. But we uh, are almost to our gate. A little gaming area if you want to play games while you wait. And some relaxation shopping area. Okay, we're trying this one that's supposed to have some breakfast. Just my cafe macchiato. It's an interesting spoon. <laughs> this is my classic breakfast with fried egg uh, meats and cheeses and bread with honey and jam. This uh, one up on top for the first in business and then two down below. So, Todd and I have this little two seater next to the exit row, so we've got a huge area of leg room here, but nowhere to put our. So, this is kind of an awesome uh, area, but I would like to put my feet up so. Once we're in the air, we can bring down a bag or something and put it under our feet, but um, it's lots of space. We had pre-ordered a special meal um, on Lufthansa. This was the spaghetti lunch. And Todd got a steak. So they're serving the second meal, which is lunchtime, but they're calling it dinner. The pasta with pesto. They also had a beef with rice option. 